Hello everyone, it's Dan here from Thomas Rhodes Themes. In this video I'm going to take you through the typography options within Lima for WordPress. So what I'm going to do is change the default Google font to something a bit spicier and just take you through the process of how it's all done. And as you'll see, it's very, very straightforward. So to begin with, we're going to want to go into our theme options, which we can get to via the customize button here. Once we're in there, we can go to site settings and typography settings and here we have the fields we're going to be dealing with now it's very straightforward what we need is the new font URL from Google fonts and we need to take the font names and pop them in the various parts here so what we've got at the top here is the Google font so uh, sorry the font URL so to specify what exactly that is if we go over to Google fonts what we're going to do is choose two fonts although by default the theme only uses one we're just going to show you how it's done so you can specify the body font and the the uh, heading font separately so again back in google fonts we're going to choose one font for the body text and one for the titles so for the body text uh, let me choose something i might go for oswald so we're going to hit select this font and that's added to our font family and for the heading font this crazy new one looks quite cool so I will add that as well now what we're going to need to do is in the font family section here we're going to go to customize and we're going to specify a few different weights for the text and once we've chosen what we need we can go back to the embed area and this is the part we need here so you can see it's kind of made out bold which is very helpful because that kind of highlights the part you actually need. So what we're going to do is highlight this bolded portion here. And we're going to right click and copy. And back in our customize area, we're going to get rid of all this. And we're going to right click and paste. Now that's the first step. What we need to do now is tell the theme that we want to change the fonts. So by doing this here, as you can see, we're going to copy Oswald because that body font name. We're going to paste that into the body font name for, uh, field here. And below where the accent font is, which is the heading font, we're going to paste this. Now, the only thing to bear in mind with this is if you are using a font with several words for its name, like you can see here, what you're going to do is actually replace any pluses with just space. Just like that. Once we're done, we can hit publish. And we will go ahead and take a look at the front of our site and see what we've got I've chosen some quite bold fonts here so it should be fairly obvious and yep as you can see we've got our new thin font here Oswald if we go into a blog just so we can see an example of a heading you can see there we've got our heading font there now admittedly the combination I've chosen is quite ugly but uh, that's just to kind of get the point across you can see here just how it works and just how easy and straightforward that is and to be fair, Oswald looks quite good. It's just that font, which is pretty horrible. But uh, yeah, there we are. That's the typography settings within Lima. If you do have any more questions, then do come see me over at support. I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching and have fun with your theme.